You know, the thing is, I end up doing a lot of disclaimers on my videos, and I'm going to start with one today. I probably will come off sounding like what I'm trying to do is ridicule, ridicule and embarrass people. That's not what I'm interested in at all. My interest is in getting people to open their minds, to stop accepting things uh, that seem like they're good arguments, and to actually start really thinking about what it is that they're accepting. That's why I've chosen to talk about uh, not what they intended on today's Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt. Today is Thursday, the 7th of October of 2021. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, on the podcast, and on YouTube. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. And again, the subject for today is going to be not what they intended. <clears throat> Let me take just a second and go through my notes so that you have some idea what I'm talking about today. I remember when I was quite young making arguments that, looking back, were horribly wrong. Sadly, I've always been fairly good at debate. I say sadly because my answers often stood even when they were terrible. Maybe things aren't as bad as they seem to me at this point in time. Maybe, maybe not. I have to tell you, though, I hear far more people making bad arguments these days <clears throat> than good ones. Is this one of those twas ever thus moments? I suppose it's possible. <clears throat> After all, as I say, I proffered my share, fair share of garbage logic. That said, someone recently said something <clears throat> I'm finding it hard not to use as an example. That person used the fact that their child did not get COVID-19 instead of having instead having a common cold as a reason to vaccinate mask and social distance to begin with most folks are doing all of those things yet your child got a cold and when uh, and where i don't enjoy being the bearer of bad tidings i'll do it do that rather than lying about things every time i'm presented the option the mortality numbers are higher this year than last year at around this time frame, and that's with all the mitigations most places. So not only did they not keep your kid from getting COVID-19, or from getting a cold, I'm sorry, excuse me, or COVID-19, though they didn't get COVID-19, they don't seem to be slowing down SARS-CoV-2 either. What makes all of this the much worse in my view? It's that people are using this as an argument to double down on the various fixes. Do you not understand you're telling me they didn't work? Do you not get we're seeing things be worse since you began to employ them? Even if they're supposedly working, and you can't really make that argument, to keep the numbers down, working to keep the numbers down, COVID is still around. And by the way, it's still killing people. Something nobody wants, by the way. I'm not saying I like that or I'm happy about it. I'm just telling you that's how things are. It's hard to imagine a less logical set of viewpoints than the ones currently being displayed to me at this point in time. You can bet this was not what the folks selling such arguments intended. Okay, done with my notes. Look, let's just say for a second that we're, we were able to see a slowdown in either deaths or cases of COVID-19 as a result of the various mitigative activities that are currently occurring. Whether it's masking, whether it's vaccines, whether it's social distancing, whether it's even as strict as lockdowns, which is, does not appear to be the case. Let's just say that that's true. Is COVID-19 still around? And for that matter, does it still appear to be as deadly as it was in past? I hate to tell you this, but the answer to that is why, yes, it's still around. And yes, it's maybe slightly more deadly than it was before. Now, to be fair, the numbers are quite low for everybody. You're going to hear people saying that there's a pretty much a 99% success rate 
uh, of survival uh, when you get COVID-19 in pretty much every age range. I would argue that in the worst case, if you said 95 uh, in in certain age ranges, you might be more more accurate. I don't know. I'd have to do the math and do some research for myself to find out. Uh, what I've seen tends to indicate that that's pretty likely. But here's the point. In all of these things that you've done supposedly to try and do away with or at least reduce the effect of COVID-19, it appears that you have managed to not do any of that, to not have any of that at all occur. You have managed to have things be equally bad with you doing all of the various things that you're doing to this point as they were, say, last year at about this time. And again, you probably want to step back a week or two because it takes a little while for the numbers to work themselves out. might even be a good idea to go back as far as a month. But you'll see things that various people have said. One thing that people have said is, guys, this is seasonal just like a lot of ailments are. Flu tends to be seasonal. Colds tend to be seasonal. I'm not saying nobody ever gets flu or cold outside of the seasons. I'm saying that as a rule, they are seasonal in nature. And there are probably a variety of reasons for that. So the point is when people said, oh, look, Florida's having a surge and it's because they're not masking and blah, 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 blah. No, now it turns out other states are getting having that surge. And again, the one thing that you can say in defense of those states, which, by the way, are... Uh, masking and doing vaccinations and social distancing and to some degree locking down, the one thing that you can say is that it's really not anybody's fault that the, that the surges are happening. But the point is, the other results that you're causing when you make people do the various things that you do supposedly to mitigate what's going on, those are your fault. When you have people who are committing suicide because they believe that their life is over, when you have people running scared because they believe that, uh, if, uh, you know, the uh, population is 50% infected or better with COVID-19 and that 25% of the population is dying. When you have uh, people who are dying of abuse because they're put in situations where uh, the people who they're staying with or abusing them, whereas they wouldn't necessarily be around them if it weren't for the lockdowns. When you have people who are not getting education, when you have people who are dying of various kinds of illnesses because they're not being seen to like they need to, and it's not because there aren't hospitals and doctors and so forth available, it's because they're too afraid to go to them. So they die of heart attack or they die of cancer or whatever because they didn't get it seen to in a timely manner when that stroke could have been actually mitigated to some degree with, with things that actually work. This is what I'm trying to say to you. When you make bad arguments about things, you cause problems on top of the things that are already there. So maybe you didn't make COVID any worse. You might have even improved it slightly. I don't know. It's hard to say. That is to say, it, we might have had less death numbers. We might have had. But the truth is, as I say, it just sure doesn't look at it uh, look like it, considering that we've got more people dying of COVID-19 and I think higher spread right now than we had in t uh, 2020 at around the same time. So, so this is not something that you should really probably be pushing from everything that I'm that I'm hearing that I'm getting to understand but like I say what makes that worse is that uh, there are other things that are happening as a result of the supposed supposed mitigations for COVID-19 that are making things even worse people dying of um, not being diagnosed with various things or not treating the things with which they're diagnosed, people dying of abuse because a spouse or a mother or father abuses them, uh, people committing suicide on at a higher rate and particularly in ranges when it's, you know, really uncalled for when, frankly, they're quite young. Many, many of these things are happening. I know that what's happening is not what you intended, but it's time to take a good hard look at what you're saying and turn the corner and realize that these things that you've been doing are not doing what you expected. Things are not what you intended. I'm sorry to tell you that. That's the reality. 
Uh, Got to wrap this up now. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Today is Thursday, the 7th of October of 2021. It means tomorrow will be Friday, the 8th of October, that beginning of the weekend for lots of people and the beginning of the Sabbath for those who observe it. Uh, Friday, the 8th of October of 2021 uh, will be tomorrow. Uh, Thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble on the podcast and on YouTube. Welcome as well. As I say, I, I have a hard time not saying welcome instead of thank you. Remember that Rumble is my preferred platform. Remember that you can give me a boxing glove or a a positive Rumble, a plus on Rumble for a positive feedback. You can give me a negative or a minus sign on Rumble if you choose to do so for negative feedback. You can give me a thumbs up or a like or a thumbs down or dislike for positive and negative feedbacks respectively on YouTube if you choose to do that. Uh, the subject for today has been not what they intended. Hope you're having a good day today. I'm doing my video a little late, later than usual because of how things worked out for my work. Uh, and that's just how that needs to be. Again, today's subject was not what they intended. And tomorrow, we're going to do, in many other countries, 2.0. You, if, you, if you have been paying attention to my videos, I'm sure you saw in many other countries... Uh, the other day, well, this is going to be a little bit of a continuation of a continuation of that, based on my experience of things that happen in the rest of the world, and some things that I've heard other people say that I think are quite uh, reasonable and quite fair. Hope you're doing t- uh, good today. Hope things are going well for you. Hope you're trucking ever closer to the weekend. Uh, Thank you for being here, and hopefully we will see you again on Friday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Thursday, October 7th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional and maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re- Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.